there is no beginning and no end. So, so, who, so who started the Elohim that? were created by other people coming from another planet. And they were created by other people coming from other planet. And it's infinity. There is no beginning and no end. Claude calls himself Rael Maitreya. And Rael is supposedly an alien contactee with higher knowledge and knowledge of aliens and their technology and their philosophy and how to change the world for the better. It's necessary to understand these people came on the earth a, a very long time ago. They built a big laboratories and in these laboratories, thanks to DNA and genetic combination, they created our life on earth. It means trees, animals and men in their image. Claude had his revelation or his awakening to UFOs in 1973 when he claimed he encountered a UFO, which was cone-shaped. He claimed to have a conversation with the aliens, and they described to him various things. The aliens made claims about the future and the past, and also told him to come the next day and bring a copy of the Bible. The aliens pointed out various things in the Bible and corrected the interpretation. Like other UFO cults, the interpretation was that when the term Elohim was used, or other terms for God, they were not referring to God, as much as referring to those who came from the sky. So the interpretation of Genesis was that aliens created mankind, that talk of uh, the spirit of Elohim moving across the waters was in fact uh, a reconnaissance flight by the aliens, and various other claims to do with Genesis and other parts of the Bible, which can be interpreted as to be evidence, at least according to him and his followers, of the importance of his teachings, including those of telepathy, and telekinesis. We're all so proud. And I'm proud to be part of the Psy Corps. So remember, if you know someone who might be a telepath, or think you might be one yourself, help them get the help they need. They accept homosexuality, masturbation, and bisexuality. The aliens are amongst the most prominent, or at least the most vocal, campaigners against female genital mutilation. I am just a messenger mm -hmm. uh, from the Elohim. Mm -hmm. This very advanced civilization, uh, they created life on Earth mm -hmm. a long time ago using DNA, genetic engineering, and uh, they are what primitive people call God. Many of the beliefs are completely harmless, such as enjoying nudity. They get people who have slightly peculiar beliefs to get involved, to become interested, and then they do practically nothing. Mm -hmm. But there is no God. Mm -hmm. It's human beings like us, who thanks to technology could start in cloning, uh, genetic engineering, mastering the genetic, and one day created life on another planet, mm -hmm. the Earth. And yet still we can with ease call these people, people like Royale, we can call them cult leaders. He's a guru for an organization that makes radical claims. He makes radical claims about himself. He may not exploit people beyond that of economic exploitation, as with dangerous cults, but we can still call him very easily a cult leader. He may well have some good points to him. Most of these people do. Many of these people give to charity or have certain foundations that they try and organize for positive purpose. And it shouldn't matter that thousands of people around the world take this man very seriously and think that he speaks on behalf of alien beings. And we human beings, there is a project in the American NASA to send scientists on another planet and create life. And we will become Elohim. We would love to help us, but we are not alone. There is the Elohim and us and an infinite number of civilizations. And there is a kind of natural selection, if you like. Those who are violent and criminal destroy their civilization. I think Robert almost comes along, comes with a deep psychosis.